half mark questions from the chapter coordination in life processes let us go into the questions the first question which of the following hormone group is associated with the hunger identify the group there are two groups here group a and group b they contain some hormones we have to identify the group which contains the hormones related to hunger let us see the groups group a contains thyroxine and progesterone but group b contains ghrelin and leptin thyroxine and progesterone are the hormones which are involved in coordination in our physiological activities of the body whereas ghrelin and leptin are related to the hunger ghrelin promotes the hunger whereas leptin suppresses the hunger hence the answer is b ghrelin and leptin next question observe the classification chart and answer the blank b there is a classification chart with uh, details of sensation of hunger sensation of hunger uh, heading is the sensation of hunger where stimulates hunger is the ghrelin suppresses hunger is what that is leptin next question what is x in the given picture so this is the picture representing the mouth with tongue and the part which is indicated as x is palate next question read the following sentence and write the correct word in place of underlined word the walls of food pipe secrete a slippery substance called bolus here the underlined word which is bolus is not the right word at this place because the walls of the food pipe secrete a slippery substance called mucus which makes the food food to travel smoothly in the esophagus and other food canal next question expand ens ens refers to enteric nervous system next question observe the diagram and identify the part x in this diagram this diagram represents the food movement of food through the esophagus part which is indicated as x is the food inside the esophagus that is bolus because the food which is completely chewed and mixed with the saliva in our mouth is called as bolus bolus travels through the esophagus to reach the stomach hence the part which is indicated as x is bolus next question identify the mismatched one there are three pairs incisors canines and premolars incisors are meant to be eight canines are four and premolars are 14 here incisors total incisors in our mouth is eight so it is a right right uh, match whereas canines the total canines are four but premolars the total premolars are again eight not the 14 hence the wrong match is premolars 14 next question i am an enzyme present in the saliva i act on carbohydrates in the saliva in my absence carbohydrates do not convert into sugars who am i just remember that the enzyme that is present in the saliva and acts on carbohydrates is always amylase or tylen next question answer the question with the help of the paragraph dash is secreted by some cells present in the walls of the stomach this counter the action of acid so what is that mucus mucus is secreted by the wall cells in present in the walls of the stomach this counters the action of acid uh, on the stomach wall next question name the scientist with the help of this paragraph he was a famous russian psychologist he conducted his experiments on a dog he discovered that we produce extra saliva when we think about food so we have already learnt about uh, this psychologist in ninth class itself uh, in the lesson animal behavior so he is ivan pavlov next question mouth is to dash whereas stomach is to chyme so the food which is formed after proper chewing and mixing with saliva is called as bolus whereas the food which is properly ground in the stomach is known as chyme hence the answer is bolus next question incisors is to biting so as canines is to it means incisors are useful for biting the food whereas canines are useful for tearing the food next question fill the blank in the following sentence the wall of the esophagus is made of circular muscles and longitudinal muscles the contraction of contraction and relaxation of which lead to dash movement that is peristaltic movement next question 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 3 
is the ratio of our dentition. In this ratio, what does 3 represents? Here the 3 represents molars. Two, the first 2 represents incisors, 1 is canine and 2 is again premolars, 3 is molars.